two who your favorite truck is. That uh, one. <laughs> like a 391 pass if everything goes well but every race it's at this level it takes everything to go perfect so wish us luck and hopefully we can get this done tonight ever again uh, but we did lose a little bit of time in our 330 in our lockup one two shift transition that's all stuff that in timing we moved it in closer thinking it would help and it made the G meter a little bit worse uh, we went a 4.00 at 182 miles an hour so just a uh, two one thousandths off of what we had ran this morning but the first number was a four but we backed it up really close um, so we, we feel confident that with the 60 foot we have and with the times that we're seeing what we're seeing in the data log, we'll be able to get back the truck back in the threes tomorrow if the track is what it is, the weather stays nice, we're hoping to uh, wake up tomorrow morning and put the thing back on the track and get back in that three second zone. So now we are going to make some dinner and call it an evening. Uh, we got some chicken wings going for the guys. Just look at it. Just look at it. Okay, it's Friday and it's qualifying round three. Uh, we're going back with pretty much the same tune-up we had last night that we ran four flat with. Uh, we moved the fuel curve over just a little bit, but otherwise uh, we're just trying to get it, the truck back in the threes. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here and we're excited to be here. was a 106 to the 60 foot. We added a little bit more fuel quantity and just brought the curve back. Um, we don't quite have enough boost for the added fuel quantity to make uh, more power. So our air fuel ratio dropped two points during that initial curve just because we're leaving the line at 16 pounds of boost. So we're gonna make some adjustments to our dump valves and try to get the engine to make more boost at the same RPM basically put more load on the motor. If that works and then that added fuel quantity will accelerate our RPMs faster, hopefully drop our 60 foot time and we'll be back in business. So we get to hang out for a couple hours until we wait for Q4.
it is Saturday morning, and we are ready for our last qualifying session before eliminations. Last night we had our qualifier, and we went for a hero or zero pass, and we got zero. Uh, everything on the G meter showed us that we should turn it up in the first point three, and we did, and it lost the tire right away. So we went back to what we know goes down the racetrack, and uh, so we went back to our 399 tune-up, added a little bit more after the 100-foot mark and we're going to hopefully just make a full A to B pass up and have the first number be a three. So that's the goal for this morning. And then we go into elimination tonight. over almost like there's a, a bind up or a tie up we're not sure what's going on it's done it all week uh, we were gonna just kind of be okay with it but we really want to get the truck back in the threes this afternoon or tonight and because we have all afternoon we decided we're just gonna put our spare trans in it uh, to give ourselves the best shot at getting this truck back in the threes so another battle that we're uh, fighting is at 5850 rpm we are losing crank signal, and literally everything looks perfect. Uh, we actually had this problem last year with our 411 at 181 pass. Right at the traps, it sounds like it what, hits the rev limiter, even though our rev limiter is set at 6500. Um, we cannot figure it out because the bearings look absolutely brand new in the engine, so we know the crank's not moving around. Our filter's clean, so there's no thrust material or anything like that. The crank sensor's good. We've tried two new crank sensors. We've tried a new fluid damper. So we're just going through every possible scenario on why it could be losing crank signal. Obviously, some kind of weird harmonics going on up there. We're going to give it our best shot tonight to put it back in the threes and uh, call it a day. This afternoon we got the transmission changed and we've got uh, some smoke map changes that we made trying to get it on the boost as quick as possible because we're going into eliminations against Tim Slavens which is pretty cool because it wasn't but a couple years ago we're all sitting back at the shop watching RVW drooling over Tim Slavens car saying how badass that car is and tonight we get to line up against him so it's kind of a, uh, a grown-up moment for us in racing uh, that we actually get to uh, play on the big stage so we're looking forward to going up and taking the tree so wish us luck. We're going to really try our best to put it back in the threes in front of the big crowd tonight. Who do y'all have in the first round? Got a radio person as well. Who do y'all have in the first round? Tim, Tim Slavens. That's the... Uh, it's the Red Camaro that went flying the other day? Oh, I like him. <laughs> hey Larson, what are you looking for? Where's my golf cart? <laughs> Where do they go? You know, he's like, good thing we went on this cruise because we ran out of gas on the golf cart and had to borrow some gas. Hey, remember that thing I said that we were not going to have enough gas for the week? Yeah, we definitely talked about that yesterday. That was right. One whole week, the tank won't no, last. No, it wasn't we full. Had, like this much in the bottom of the tank started. Oh, wait, it wasn't full? No, not even close. Hey, kids, this is not how you run a race team. <laughs> we're a bunch of them. <laughs> hey. Our, our golf cart is as fuel efficient as a race truck. <laughs> yeah. That uses half a tank in a week of racing and we use a half a gallon per pass. Uh, so, yeah, same thing.
Water Drag Race. That was a big moment for us. 3 92 to a 404. Uh, we'll take the loss with pride because for that kind of crowd, that kind of atmosphere, it's just exciting to be there and be a part of it. Uh, so all together, this whole week was a win. Uh, the truck performed flawlessly. We worked through a bunch of hiccups, um, but that's just part of racing. And we are just excited to take everything we've learned, apply it to the rest of the season, and hopefully just keep going faster. So thanks for watching these videos. We look forward to doing more of this, and hopefully 2021 is a great race season for us.